What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get free rookie premiere collectibles by just going ahead and using the endorsement section. Now, the rookie endorsement is separate from all the rookie premiere challenges. We'll go over that at another time right now because many of you guys like myself are looking to get these collectibles because the 93 overall cards have been like they're fluctuating in price. They've gone as low as 48k all the way up to 70k. So I've been getting them at about an average of 60K uh, per to get a rookie premiere, but that's a lot of coins uh, for each one. So I've been getting a lot of questions about, look, how can we get them for free? Well, pretty much I'm gonna walk you through this right now. So these collectibles that I've earned right now, you see in the top left, rookie endorsement, that is separate, like I said earlier, from the rookie premiere challenges, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go ahead, We're gonna. I'm gonna show you, look, I'm gonna get like, I think I got like 12 of them right now for free. So that's two, this is gonna be three, uh, okay, we got a we, oh we got a rookie premiere endorsement. That's nice. So we'll sell this one and go get another one right now then, um, because pretty much as you go through the challenges unlock and you're able to continuously get uh, rookie premiere collectibles. Uh, because that just came up. For, oh, another rookie premiere endorsement. Oh, okay. Yo, so keep giving them to me then, EA. We're gonna get more of them right now. I didn't even know. I, all I had was twelve. Just remember, as they pop up. What you do is you just quick sell them and then it unlocks challenges for you to be able to get the Rookie Premier um, collectibles where you can then go ahead and complete complete the Rookie Premier players that you will get a collectible for Madden 22. Always remember this guys, you will not get the card that you complete in 21 and 22. The Rookie Premier program has changed. I'm gonna keep repeating it because you guys will not blame me in 22. I'm going to have it in every single video. I've been telling you guys since it's been announced, and I'm still getting that question often. Jemaya, do, do we get the cards in 22? No. You get collectibles, and you have a various amount of ways that you can use those collectibles. Our goal right now for all of us here that are watching this video is to complete all 10 of the rookie premieres in Madden 22, or in Madden 21 right here, and then get those collectibles, those 10 collectibles transferred into Madden 22, and then use that in Madden 22 to unlock an auctionable high overall rookie premiere, which we will then sell early on if the price is right and make coins right at the launch. That is our ultimate goal right now. So I'm showing you right now, we got 12 free rookie premiere collectibles and I'm going to show you how we got them right now. All right, so now all that's been done. Now let's jump into what's been going on. These are the rookie endorsements, right? So you have a certain amount of them that you can unlock. Right now we're up to 15, so look, it's very, very easy to do them, right? Let me see, how many rookie endorsements do we have? Hold on, let me see, I think we only have like 14. What do we have right now, what's the thing is, okay, dude, all right, I get it, EA, stop giving me those alerts, let me see what's up there. All right, so we have 14 right now, so we can do these next two. You cannot unlock them unless you have the rookie endorsement and then you quick sell them, okay? So once you quick sell them, you will be able to, at that point, to then unlock these challenges and then get these free rookie premiere collectibles. From there, you will be able to now get a collectible and you can figure out what you want to do with it. It's up to you how you want to rock it. I, I don't really care how you do it, but you know, if you want to use it, you know, use this section and then you want to buy a bundle, I would, I would prevent or say, let me not say that. I would not like for you guys to have to spend money on a bundle. I don't think that that would be the smart thing to do. Um, I think trying to find the ways to complete them for free so when I say I don't care, I actually do. I don't want you guys, like Madden 21, you shouldn't be buying bundles right now, right? You should be finding uh, different ways to be able to go ahead and complete these sets without spending actual money. That's what you should be doing right now. All right, so we're not gonna, we're, we have to sack the quarterback, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do it this way. It's kind of weird, but we have to do it this way. Let me go ahead and see um, if we can get a sack. Why are they coming out in this though? See, this makes it kind of difficult. Because if they, if you might run the ball here. Okay, sack him, sack him, sack him. Okay, we have too long. Okay, we got him, we got him. So look, you get the sack, and once that's complete, that's it. That's how easy it is to get it. I'm going to go through the other ones that are there too. Um, right here, complete three passes. You know, like, it's very, very simple with this section of getting the rookie endorsements. Now, you get the rookie endorsements by winning games, completing sets. It's different things that you can do to get them. We'll go over that as well. I'm doing this because I need to get these rookie premieres done. I think at this point right now I have four done, right? So all I've been getting uh, with from every all of you guys, Jimai, I need to get this done. What are the best ways? I go over it now that we've been streaming every morning on Twitch. Well, well, we've been streaming every morning on Twitch for a while on YouTube. We start off on YouTube. 
all my YouTube members, they come in, they ask questions, we go over the team, team building. That's going to continue in Madden 22. So we're just getting it all wrapped up for that right now, right? So this has been the number one priority. This has been the number one question. How are we doing this? How is this supposed to get done? Can we do this uh, this way? What's the best way? All that stuff, right? This is the best way to do it. We go after the free stuff because the free stuff is what's gonna make us less annoyed about the game and we're not gonna have to worry about a lot of the foolishness that goes on within the game. Now, in addition to what I'm doing right now, I will tell you guys this. You can grind the, um, the uh, what is that? The, the, you know, like the all Madden head-to-head -head? because nobody is really playing that and that is a good way to earn coins. And then you can go ahead and buy some of the 93s that go into the set, blah, 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 get that done like that. And you should be all set with it. Um, you know, as far as that goes, as far as going the coin route, you can just grind the game because most of the people that are playing the game right now, you know, it's, it's either gonna be dudes that are gonna be major sweaties, but for the most part, it's a lot of new people getting the game right now and they don't really know what's going on. You can just beat the, you know, beat them up, Get, get it done and then get the coins and then start buying more of those 93s. Now look, this is what happens. When you don't have enough rookie endorsements and you try to play the game, you're gonna get this message, right? See the rookie premier endorsement pass mission for more details, you don't have enough. So I'm gonna go now, we're gonna back out. So that, that way you understand what I've been doing this entire time. You'll be able to see all the challenges and everything. And then it'll make a little bit more sense to you what we're doing. This, in my opinion, is the easier route as far as getting a free rookie premiere. But look, again, more collectibles, more collectibles. Right there, all right? Now, we're gonna take a look at everything that we've completed so far, and then I'll show you the segment. So this is the rookie endorsement segment. And we completed all of these, and it looks like, you know, we have, it's up to 20 right now at this point. I don't know if there'll be more, I'm not sure. It is what it is, but that's one thing. Now, this section is completely different, okay? You can earn 93 overall Rookie Premier players to exchange for collectibles. So this is completely different. You can earn the 93 that I was talking about paying for by getting these certain milestones. 60, you get another at 160, and stuff like that. So you can earn three, right? These are the things that you can go ahead and do. And this event ends July 12, 2021. So you have a little bit of time to do it. I have been hearing rumors about getting kicked out of... Um, these challenges, I will be looking into that for you guys. So we will go over that. Don't worry about it. I will be all over that for you guys because I thought we had a fix that EA tweeted out, but for some reason, some of you guys are still having issues. So we will go over that. Now, as far as um, everything else, is that in the rookie premiere section? Yeah, so that'll still be in the rookie premiere section. Let's take a look at that real quick uh, right here. Um, we're gonna go rookie premiere masters. Rookie, okay, endorsements. So earn 250 stars in the rookie premiere category. Earn 100, star, earn 100 stars in the Rookie Premier category. So you can get more endorsements that way. Um, win 75 games, 100 games, 125 games. Rush for 2.5 um, you know, yards, 2.5K yards. And these are the other ways that we've been getting it. Win 25 head-to-head -head or solo battle games. So these are some of the ways that you can get endorsement passes. Um, I've done several of them. Uh, you guys can go through it and figure out how you want to do it in that segment. And then these are the Rookie Premier challenges. And then that segment that you see on the right just shows you what it will be exchangeable for in Madden 22. All right, so I already told you guys, it's five for the auctionable player in Madden 22. That's the route that I would like to take. You do not have to take that route. Okay, that's fine. This is the 93 overall player set I was talking about. So you'll get three of those from playing the challenges if you wanna go that route. For me, I'd rather, you know, spend the coins. I don't feel like playing all those challenges, even though they could be simple, but I'm gonna find out why you guys have been still uh, getting booted out of it uh, very, very soon. So look, we're gonna use some of the collectibles right now. We'll complete Najee, uh, is this Najee Harris right here? Yep. So we'll complete his, because we already had some more that were done. Now look, I just wanna be very, very clear, right? You do not get this card in Madden 22. You will get a collectible, all right? Spread the word. You do not get the card in 22. Not the same thing, completely different promo, all right? So now that that's done, we got that set complete. The next thing that you do, once you start doing it this way, you know, it'll, it'll show that it's selected. So at this point, we have five done, right? So we need five more. Back out of this, right? You can kind of see, because we just got all those other passes. As a matter of fact, we could do another one, right? So let's do another one. Let's, uh, Okay, he's a he's a linebacker. We don't really, it don't really matter who we actually compete right uh, complete right now. Let's do Trevor Lawrence. We should have enough to do his his set. So let's do that. And this is all from the rookie premiere collectibles that we just got just a while ago. So we're not gonna get him in 22, but we're gonna get one collectible. So he's done. Now from this, 
what you did. I don't know how many more we have left, but let's see how many collectibles we have left. All right, so we have two more. So we're gonna need eight to do the next one. And I believe, so how many do we have done now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need four more to be done. And then we're completely finished, all right? Now we back out of this, we go into our item binder and we quick sell what we just created. We, we, look, I don't want to play with them. If you guys want to play with the cards, that's fine. But Madden is not really something that you want. Like, dude, I, I don't really care about it that much. So I go here. If you guys want to see the numbers on this guy, we'll, I'll show it to you real quick. Look, most of the players move very, very slow. This guy with Sprinter only goes to a 98 speed. He's not good uh, as far as, you know, what you would like with the 99 speed. You got Trevor Lawrence. I wouldn't recommend using him. I would just say go quick sell him. Get your 100,000 training. They're 50K each. And then you go into... The training, um, the training in the store, those packs, the training variety packs, gamble, 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 get some pulls, make some coins, finish your rookie premieres. All right, guys, hopefully this has been informative to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions involving rookie premiere, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.